when we were going after uh, Brian, um, uh, his brother Jason came on our radar, and that was something that we were keen to, uh, once we had tied up Brian's services, that was uh, definitely a target of ours. I mean, Jay's um, pedigree speaks for himself. He's a good player. He's got a lot of pro experience. Um, he's a big, strong guy who can put the puck in a net. I think that's what this club needs. And um, like I said, I had a chance to play with my brother here. It was a great experience. We had the King brothers that played here for a lot of years. So the team's uh, very familiar to having brothers playing together, and I hope this is another successful partnership. Um, obviously, Jason adds, gives us a bit of size and uh, skill up front. Um, a little bit of added toughness, which was, was much needed. We, you know, we tried, that was an area we tried to, to get into a little bit this summer, um, but obviously, you know, we didn't want to bring in any donkeys and we wanted guys that could play in all, all three zones and, uh, and he's definitely a guy that can do that. Yeah, you can't always put too much into stats, but uh, certainly on going on, uh, you know, on Jason's uh, pro career, uh, he's going to be, a, he's going to come in here and be a leader on the ice. Um, I think that uh, he's got good work ethic and you know, he's a big strong guy and he leads by example. So we're excited to get him in. I know the guys are excited to get him in. and. Uh, I think the team's starting to really take shape nicely. I think I think we got a good combination of uh, you know a few older guys that got a bit of experience and um, some younger guys that got some talent. Maybe don't have the pedigrees, but uh, definitely have got some potential and some talent. So um, sometimes you got to take those chances on young guys and hope that they come out and uh, the references uh, come to light. So um, no, I, I really like our roster. We always talk about that here in Fife. Uh, camaraderie is a big thing and. Especially after the way some you know some of the things that happened last year and a bit of bad luck that we had, we we wanted guys that truly wanted to play here and weren't just looking to uh, come here and then move on after a month or two, you know. So uh, all the guys we've talked to are, are uh, you know excited at the opportunity of playing a lot of minutes and, and having uh, you know big responsibilities on on the ice. We always knew Scooney was going to be back, but it's official, and uh, I think he's. Um, we just had a meeting with junior development and. Uh, He's, he's definitely one for the future. Scooney's a very coachable guy. Um, he goes out there, he works hard. He's worked hard over the summer. I think we'll probably see him get a lot more ice this time. And um, yeah, we're just excited to have Scooney back. He's a good kid. He's been working hard in the gym this year. He's bulked up and he's, you know, he, he's still got a lot of work to do, but in the meeting I had with him, I told him, I said, listen, like make it difficult for myself or Danny not to put you on the ice, earn your spot. And, and that's what he's going for. And uh, you know, hopefully we get more out of him. Uh, it's good, you know, it's good to be on early. Uh, the ice, we got the ice down early, so it's been good. We got a couple weeks head start, uh, getting some good skates in, getting the hands ready. And uh, yeah, I've been back for a while. Did the best of British ice hockey camps for the last four weeks, went really well. But uh, it's good to get back to, to the pro game here and uh, away from the kids for a little while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got one more to go. And um, I'd like to hope that we'd make that announcement this weekend. I don't think we'll be waiting until next Thursday. I think we'll have it sometime early in the week, this weekend or early in the week. And then uh, that's our squad. The guys have been working hard, and we're just uh, looking forward to getting things going.